Yo, Future, so let's discuss the future of Apple AirPods, or at least the like in-ear kind of human hearing augmentation, because I think that's an awesome trend that's going to see some amazing things in the future. So everyone was bitching about the removal of the headphone jack and the price of these AirPods themselves. I think they're really missing the point that like the trend here is amazing. I think it's probably one of the biggest trends that Apple and others will be following very soon. Because really what these in-ear devices will end up doing, and not just Apple itself, but other, other manufacturers, is it's really like augmenting human hearing. So all inputs and outputs on the auditory level into our ears. And while the AirPods are expensive right now and they look kind of stupid because they've got the bit jutting out, you know, future versions of these type of devices will be completely in-ear and skin colored. You don't really notice them, you just sleep with them. I mean, once battery tech gets good enough, you basically like leave these things in your ears 24-7. You would just forget about them because they'll be kind of so small and so comfortable, you just leave them there. And so let's go through the list of augmentations you can do with it. So most people probably saw the AirPods and thought, oh wow, that's an expensive set of like uh, earbuds. And oh yeah, cool, you can do Siri, but what? So I'm going to listen to music and, and use Siri. Cool, why are they so expensive? But I mean, once you're intercepting every input and output into your ear, into your brain essentially, then you can do things like um, turn off all surrounding noise or focus on one conversation. So you could be in a restaurant, you could have a conversation with a friend, and you can just turn off every other noise and just hear that person. So it's, you'd be in a completely surrounded, really noisy room, but you'd only hear their voice. You can then do other stuff where if you have a group of friends, you can turn off everyone else's except for that group and have a group conversation where it's very private and you can only hear each other. Just stuff like that. So then you can even go one step further and basically have a one-on-one a, a -on -one conversation with someone on the other side of a noisy room. You can block out all other conversations and you two just talk. It's kind of like a phone call but in the same room. Any type of language translation is also another option. I think there was a Kickstarter recently that was trying to do that. I'm not sure if that product's live yet, but yeah, stuff like that. Just instant language translation on the fly. You'd have superhuman hearing abilities. Um, so you'd basically be able to turn up or down any sound, anywhere, any voice. So you can literally listen to someone whispering from 100 meters away. Then you could augment and alter and change any type of sound. So a, a train just went past then, and everyone knows what the sound of a train going past sounds like. Well, what if you could change that to something else, and it just completely alters? Every time a train goes past, it would just instantly recognize that that is a train sound, and I could turn it. I could basically turn that off if I didn't want to hear train sounds, or I could change it to something else. Maybe it might be like a laser sound, like a zoom. You could have something like our group chats, but instead of being in text form, it could actually be in always-on auditory form. So you could basically switch on and off and talk to anyone one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many. Or imagine like Slack but for auditory. So you could, imagine if you had all your employees, you know, tens of thousands of employees, all using um, these same earbuds. They're all connected to each other at any given time on demand. Obviously, you need to do that the way it isn't spammy. It isn't kind of like you know constantly pushing your voice out to everyone all at once. But you could have a conversation with someone as though they're right next to you, and they could be anywhere on the planet. Which I think could be a much better user interface than like Skype or Slack, where you're having to say you know at Mary, you know, can you get me this thing? Or have you done this thing? Instead, you could just literally say it, and instantly you have a conversation with that person. And then finally, if everyone has a microphone and a speaker in their, in their ears, you can do what uh, one of our startups, Lifebox, was really trying to do, where you're basically recording everything and you can understand memes and how they spread. I mean, we're all carrying around microphones in our pockets. One of our startups called Lifebox is actually a, an Android app that records 24-7 background audio just automatically, and that's quite useful. But once there's a microphone in everyone's ears, then now you can suddenly record everything that person ever says, everything they ever hear, and everything they ever hear around them, and everything everyone says around them. But why would you want to record that data? Well, you upload it all to a server, it transcribes it all, and then it can track very accurately the spread of ideas and memes throughout the entire population. You can track your own learning over time, you can track your own vocabulary over time, you can track the words you use, who you're influenced by, and basically reverse engineer the algorithm that is you based on the auditory input. With that, you can also like play back anything you've ever said in the past and everything you've heard in the past. You can then synthesize everyone's voices down to the actual kind of like tonalities and personalities of their voices. And then finally, you can have personal AI assistants, uh, a bit like the movie Her. So assistants, friends, lovers, permanently, always on, in your ear. Snap your thoughts at Future.